This is Neo Rotnow Rock Doc here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock. Stories from the soundtrack of our lives. Musician, singer, and composer Steve Pacaro celebrates his 66th birthday today. Steve is best known as a founding member of the band Toto and is the last surviving Pacaro brother. So today, I thought I would tell you a few things about Steve Pacaro that you might not know. And as usual, a little background first. Like his brothers, Jeff and Mike, Steve started out as a drummer under the supervision of their father, jazz drummer Joe Pacaro. But as Steve describes, it was a new instrument called the synthesizer that really caught his attention. Well, the way I got started mu working in the music industry was coming from a family of musicians. My father was a musician and uh, uh, my brothers were musicians. And uh, so it was a very natural progression. I saw my father's career, both when we lived in Connecticut and then when he moved to L.A. to become a, a studio musician, a freelance studio musician. I saw him working on great projects right away, very quickly. He was getting hired for a lot of great records and movies and all kinds of things. And then I saw both of my brothers right out of high school become successful musicians. It was just something I always wanted to do. I was always hoping to do. And uh, um, I was lucky to have them kind of showing me that it was very possible. The reason I got into synths was, first of all, I was very interested. I was fascinated with synthesizers. I had heard, when I would hear it on the radio, when I would hear the, uh, the first time I heard Walter Carlos doing Switched on Bach, I was always, what was that? You know, what is that? And then I saw Emerson, Lake and Palmer in 1971 play live. And the sound of the Moog synthesizer just blew my mind. In 1967, Pacaro's father bought him an organ made by Ream, a company that specializes in heating and air conditioning. However, soon after, Steve took his father down to a guitar center to trade in the keyboard for a Farfisa with a Leslie Tone cabinet and preamp, which Pacaro called his first real rig. Steve's touring career began in 1977, playing keyboards for Gary Wright during his tour in support of the Dreamweaver album. Pacaro followed that by going on the road with Boz Skaggs in a band which included his future Toto bandmates David Peich, David Hungate, Steve Lukather, and his brother, drummer Jeff Pacaro. After adding singer Bobby Kimball, the group, now signed to Columbia, began to work on their first album. Steve wrote or co-wrote at least one song on each of Toto's first six albums, with the exception of Isolation. And unlike most of his Toto bandmates, Steve generally did not contribute lead or even backing vocals, since he considered himself a weak singer. Led by top five single Hold the Line, Toto's debut album brought the band some commercial success, although it was their fourth album, Toto 4, in 1982, which brought them global attention. The lead single, Rosanna, peaked at number two, and their next single, Africa, went to number one, helping Toto become one of the best-selling music groups of their era. Steve left Toto in 1987 after the Fahrenheit album in order to pursue a more full-time songwriting and composing career. However, Picaro continued working with Toto in various supporting capacities, assisting with keyboards, drum looping, synthesizers, as well as arranging and composing. Steve returned to play with Toto at live performances in 2010, and he also performed on the band's 2015 studio album, Toto 14. But after the band dissolved in 2019 and regrouped in 2020, Picaro did not return. Steve is the composer of the TV series Justified, and he's won three Grammys, including Record of the Year for Rosanna and Album of the Year for Toto 4. During the time Toto was putting the finishing touches on their album, Toto 4, Steve went to visit his five-year-old daughter at his ex-wife's house. His daughter was very upset since a boy had hit her at school. Picaro said, he probably likes you and it's human nature. The title stuck with Steve. So when he got to the studio later that day, Steve sat at the piano and wrote the song, Human Nature. The song 
became a top 10 hit when it was released as a single by Michael Jackson. But as Steve relates, it was never intended for Michael. Uh, I had been working on the Thriller album already. Um, I'm doing synthesizer work on the album. So I'd already been, was in the studio working with Michael and Quincy. He'd been asking David Page, the other keyboard player in Toto, for songs. David was known as a great songwriter, and he'd been asking him for a, a certain kind of song he was looking for on the album, and he would send an assistant over every day to pick up whatever grooves David was working on. And uh, I had just written Human Nature and just finished the demo, and I had, I had made a cassette, just a stereo mix with a cassette. Um, David called down to me one day, I was living at his house at the time, and he said, uh, Quincy's assistant's coming over to pick up those two grooves I was working on last night. Make a cassette for me, would you? And um, I said, sure. And I went down, and sure enough, we were completely out of cassettes. So I took that cassette that I just made of my song, Human Nature, and I changed the labels. I fast-forwarded it, and I recorded David's stuff on the A-side so that it, was, it would look like it was... Um, it was the first thing you would hear when you put in the cassette. My song was on the other side and, uh, of the tape, and I never thought Quincy would ever hear it. You know? So um, the story goes, according to Quincy, that he listened to David's two things, and he just happened to let the cassette player roll, keep going, and he was doing other things in his office. And in the old days, they used to have this thing called auto-reverse, so when the cassette got to the end, it would start playing the other side, and that's when he heard Human Nature. Okay, let's listen with Steve Picaro on Synthesizer, Michael Jackson, and Human Nature. 